I want the patients to be as proud of our hospital as I am, and I want every employee to be as proud of our hospital as I am. One of my responsibilities as an older nurse is I want to instill into those coming in that same sense of pride and respect and sense of family um, that has uh, sustained me throughout the years. St. Joe is a dream to me. It always has been and it always will be. Um, you know, sometimes I think God helped me get this because my patience is my world. They scared, they don't know what's going on. They want someone to come in and help them do this. And I feel like that we have a lot of opportunities to do that. And you'd be surprised uh, just holding a hand or just praying for them or just letting them know that you're there. And that's all over, everywhere I have went and been and done. It's the same, same attitude. I'm just so glad that you're here. Thank you. The legacy that I grew up with, you know, I want that very much to, to stay strong. And I think about that every day when I come to work. And I'm, you know, I think that we're always working on that, um, always getting back to that, maintaining that. And, and our core values are very much encouraged here. And, you know, I think no matter what job you choose when you come into this hospital, if you have those core values at the forefront of everything that you do, St. Joseph Hospital will always be that number one hospital in this community. And the Sisters of Nazareth, you know, they're, what they valued will stay strong forever. St. Joe, it's a fun place to be at, you know, and it's, and it's more like family thing. When you get here, to me, this job is, is more than a job. You know, you get here and you, you get around your coworkers and things, it's upbeating and things. So, you know, it's a great place to work at. I enjoy it. You can talk about how healthcare's changed, but patients haven't changed at all. They still need the same exact things that they needed 30 years ago. They want to be clean, they want to be fed, they want their pain medicine, they want their pain control, they want medicines given appropriately and what they need. They want us to fix them. And I guess, I don't know if I know how to be anything except a nurse. I started so young. I really don't know that there's another world out there that I could find that I fit in. Because be it a, cur a curse or a blessing, you see a side of life that makes you look at it a little bit differently because life is very fragile. I frequently ask myself um, what, what it would be like not coming to work every day and coming into the pharmacy, coming into the hospital and seeing the people that I know and have worked with for so many years. It's a difficult thing to do. I, there is not, honestly, there's nothing that I want to do other than be here. And it's always been that way. I've, from the first couple of days that I came here, I just thought, you know, this is this is what I was talking about. You know, I am confident that St. Joseph will be here long after I'm gone, and we will be caring for the patients, our, our the people of Kentucky, uh, for so many years to come. And um, I can feel good about that. And I think at the end of the day, I can say that we have done our best and that we've done great work here at St. Joseph. And um, it just makes me feel good. <laughs>